Hey, how's it going? Uh, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about some juggling. Uh, juggling is a fun activity you can do pretty much anywhere, um, and you can use all kinds of different equipment. Um, I have a couple of pairs of rolled up socks, which um, are just an example of um, something you can use. You can use a stuffed animal. Uh, I also have some lacrosse balls because my boys played a lot of lacrosse when they younger, and I still have some come around. What I like about the lacrosse balls is that they're different colors. I have a white, uh, white one, an orange one, and a green one. Um, and that just helps with the tracking of them. Uh, but they don't have to be different colors, but if you can, that's a great, great thing to do. Um, juggling is, like I said, good for the hand-eye coordination, um, and it'll help you with sports. And they say it even helps you with being a neater hand rider. So, um, see what you think. thing about juggling is you want to start simple. So I'm going to start with one lacrosse ball, or one ball, one object, and I want to just work on making some good throws and good catches. So my throws, if they're too low, won't give me a lot of time uh, when I add more objects. So I need to have a little bit higher throw. If I go too crazy, my throws are going to get wild uh, and take too long to come back down. So we need to find that medium throw that's going to help us. Uh, one of the rules is both hands do equal work. So when you're throwing, you want to throw in a cross pattern. Um, we're going to be starting out with what's called a cascade pattern, and that's when the ball crosses to the other side and comes back down. All right, so I'm throwing across my body to the other hand. And if you notice, one hand is throwing it, the other one hand catches it, and then they, that hand throws it, and the opposite catches it. So they both have equal jobs, equal work, all right? Once you get one ball down and it's getting pretty, it's simple, you're comfortable with that, you can add a second one in there. So it's just going to be a throw, throw, catch, catch when you have two. So it's throw, throw, catch, catch. Again, they should be changing sides. The orange one's here. And then when I'm done, orange one's to the other side. So again, this is something that you should be able to do like 10, 20 times in a row without any mistakes because if you can't do two comfortably adding a third one's going to make it frustrating for you you're not going to have a lot of success so take your time get good with two make sure your throws are going straight up coming down to the other hand and just it's easy for you when you're ready to add that third one um, Obviously, with three objects in two hands, you have to have two of them in one hand. So I have the white, green, and then orange. So that's going to be my pattern, white, green, orange. So remember the rules. I have to throw across to the other side, and both hands do equal work. All right. So where, uh, to start, I'm going to have to get rid of two balls. I'm going to have to get two of them in the air, and then I'll catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw. Just so to start, it's just throw, throw. But after I get two of them in the air, it's catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw. And my arms are going to be doing this, this uh, circular motion, all right? And they're just going to keep on making that pattern. Um, so let's see how I do. So it's throw, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw. Oh, and that one was getting away from me. All right, so that's the idea. Throw, catch. Nope. All right. So I'm still uh, getting better with three. But that's the idea. Okay, so um, remember, hands do equal work. Throw across your body and have a nice medium throw. Hope you have fun with that. See how it does. See how you do.